This is a car. This is a plane. And this is a secret military jet that can go three times the speed of sound. In this video, I'll look at the fastest vehicles in history and remake them in Space Flight Simulator. From the bicycle to the fighter jet and beyond. But first, the slowest ever. The Perseverance Rover. This Mars Rover can go 0.12 kilometers per hour. Meaning even a turtle is faster. However, a turtle on Mars would die. So to build it, we just need to make this little cart on wheels and add a helicopter. That's right. While the rover itself is quite slow, it does have a little helicopter that can go a lot faster. I bet the turtle can do that. Next up, we're going back to Earth. Here on Earth, we'll find helicopters and fighter jets, but first, a bit slower. A kayak. We'll just make this like a box with a guy in it. This little boat can go 5 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, sharks can go 50 kilometers per hour. Next up, we have the lifeboat. Let's make it like the kayak, but add some more people. And if they run out of food, they'll eat each other. This boat can go 8 kilometers per hour. Again, sharks can go 50, so it's not much of a lifeboat. Then we have the forklift. It can go 10 kilometers per hour, unless it's carrying something really heavy, like your mom. Let's test it out in SFS. We need to take this probe and lift it. Lift it and move it somewhere else. Yes, it works. You can even lift a forklift with a forklift. Next up, we have the hot air balloon. Getting the circle shape is difficult, but Minecraft has prepared me for building circles with squares. Okay, now this looks genuinely awesome. We can go into the air slowly. At 12 kilometers per hour, this vehicle isn't very useful, but it will be useful as a target for future weapons, so keep watching. Then we have the bulldozer. It has this shape. We can go 15 kilometers per hour. Now let's see if we can actually bulldoze some debris. No, 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 we cannot. How about now? We are pushing it. Yes, it's actually working. A working bulldozer. Then we have a skateboard, which can go 20 kilometers per hour. So if a bulldozer is chasing you, just jump on a skateboard. A skateboard looks so stupid without a human on it. Also at 20 kilometers per hour is the medieval boat. It took three months to go from Europe to America when people first went, which is just insane. Now there was a huge problem. There was no brown color for wood. Yes, I know I used it for the hot air balloon, but I recorded this clip first. After a bit of hacking, I got brown, even two shades to make planks. This this genuinely looks a bit epic. Now let's add the pirate. Every ship needs pirates. They're wearing uh, purple and green and... Uh they all have their own clothes, it's not a uniform. Then we have the king of the ship, wearing a crown. Now this ship may not be the fastest, but it does look really fun to be on. Then we have the golf cart. Life There's Roblox. And golf carts go 22 kilometers per hour. But what use is a golf cart if you can't golf? That's right, I built golf. Now let's launch the ball and... Oh, hole in one. Is flying your golf club around cheating? Next up, we have an average human who can run 25 kilometers per hour unless they're fat, just like your... You know what? No, I won't make that joke. I choose peaceful mode this time. On a bike, a normal person can go 30 kilometers per hour. How does a bike... This shape is so complicated. Okay, I think I have a working bike. Now can it do a flip? Let's go up the ramp and we're doing... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Three flips in a row. This is quite epic. Back to the water. A container ship can go 37 kilometers per hour. But the biggest one can carry 500 million kilograms. They're also big enough to block the Suez Canal. So let's add the containers to this ship. This one has 15, but the biggest ones have 24,000 containers. They also need a nice color pattern. We're not going that fast, but you have to remember how big these ships are. Next up, the Titanic. 43 kilometers per hour. Now the Titanic is so special because it is the strongest boat ever. It's unsinkable. It cannot sink. It looks something like this and here it is crossing the ocean. It is me, rocket powered flying iceberg. No! Yes. Ah! This is a historically accurate depiction of the offense. Then we have the fastest human ever, Usain Bolt. He can go 44 kilometers per hour, meaning he would have survived the Titanic. That's how it works, right? He's like a human, but really tall and fast and... I want to date him. Oh no! No! No, he crashed! Then the first plane ever, the Wright Brothers plane, made in 1903. It could go 50 kilometers per hour. Now, at 50 kilometers per hour, we finally have the Great White Shark. Meaning any vehicle before this is not safe. Except for the plane, because sharks can fly. And also the golf cart, because sharks can not drive. And the forklift. You know what? As long as you stay on land, you're safe. Until the Sharknado shows up. Now, this is what they actually look like. But with that fin, it just doesn't work. So I removed it. The nuclear submarine can go 60 kilometers per hour and it also has a weapon let's launch the torpedo and uh what destroyed by my own torpedo this is why the military doesn't want me this battleship can go 65 kilometers per hour it has one of those weird towers like this now if this ship attacked me at night i would be quite scared during the day also probably the aircraft carrier can go 65 too this is because the submarine battleship and aircraft carrier often travel together now we need to just make the biggest ship we've ever seen unfortunately planes haven't been invented yet except for the wright brothers plane so uh this is the best i have it's so extremely huge 
Oh, wait, no, the plane is going back. It barely fits on the screen. That's better. I hope the plane doesn't fall off. This is scary. Now let's launch the plane. Oh, no. Ah, wait, no. Okay, now we can launch again. How do they launch a plane from a moving ship? I don't get it. Okay, yeah, this works. The paraglider can go 65 kilometers per hour. Or, well, I guess it can go faster. But it can go 65 kilometers per hour safely. This looks so scary to me. Just hanging from one of these gliders high into the sky, I wouldn't do it. But it does look fun. The Zeppelin can go 80 kilometers per hour, which was completely insane to me. I always thought they were slow. However, the reason they went out of use is not because of the speed. It is because they would just randomly... However, the way this looks here does make me sad that I can no longer travel in it. Next up, we have the destroyer, the fastest large military ship. It can go 83 kilometers per hour, and it needs to go that quickly to destroy other ships. That's why it's called a destroyer. It just looks fast and uh, bad. This is probably one of my worst builds yet, sorry. Now let's sail it and... Ah, what? The Titanic? What are you doing here? This is not sped up. This is actually how fast it goes. The monster truck can go 96 kilometers per hour, almost at 100. Now they call it a monster truck not because it's driven by a zombie but because it's monstrously big and also it will kill normal cars let's see if we can yes now there's a reason they call it the speed boat and not the slow boat this boat can go 100 kilometers per hour well technically every boat has a speed a kayak is also a speed boat just a really low speed now the speed boat will be the fastest boat for now but after some planes and helicopters and even cars will be returning to the fastest boat ever but first the sailfish this is the fastest fish ever going 110 kilometers per hour they also have a giant sword on their head and can jump out of water we are lucky they don't eat humans because if they did we'd have a problem then the cheetah they can go 130 kilometers per hour animals and sfs really don't go together even in a normal car you're not safe so don't think you can escape next up we have a normal car these can go up to 180 kilometers per hour but only if there's no police around a motorcycle can go 210 but once again only if the police don't see you then we have the tesla the tesla can go 250 kilometers per hour and it drives itself the tesla looks just like a normal car except a bit more sporty and faster but one problem it doesn't have an engine hi elon musk the tesla is actually the fastest car ever what are you talking about Oh, wait, wait, I get it. We'll get back to that when we go to space. Next up, we have the Airbus H125, the most popular helicopter in history, going 289 kilometers per hour. Now we're finally starting to actually get some pretty fast rockets. Can we also land it? No. Okay, apparently not. Flying is the easy part. Landing the heart. Then the Apache helicopter. It's only slightly faster at 293 kilometers per hour, but it can launch rockets. So let's see what happens if there's a car here. Oh, try that one again. And now let's manually destroy some more. This is also how it goes in real life. Oh, now let's attack a monster truck. Yes, that was good. And now just keep flying like nothing happened. A flying target, the air balloon. Wait, no, it's shielded. I can just push it down. Ah, be careful. This is unironically the best weapon in SFS. Then we have the first modern plane, the Cessna 172, going 302 kilometers per hour. Now this plane can fly. It, it's just a small little plane with four seats. It looks a bit like this. Now we need to go fast to take off and we're actually flying. This plane isn't that fast, but there will be way faster ones soon. Then the fastest animal in the world, the Peregrine Falcon. It can go 330 kilometers per hour, meaning an army of falcons could beat an Apache helicopter, but only if the Falcons have rockets. It looks like a penguin. Then a Formula One car, 350 kilometers per hour. For the tail, I have this revolutionary shape where I put two triangles against each other. Oh wait, it, it already exists. Now the F1 car wasn't made to drive on hilly terrain, so I can't reach full speed here, but it's still really fast. Wait, it's going into the air? This shouldn't happen. The B-17 bomber. This American World War II plane could drop bombs and fly away at 462 kilometers per hour. Let's test it out. Now we're dropping a bomb on a car so oh this does require a bit of timing and drop it oh oh this is why america won the war then we have a bugatti which is the fastest supercar in the world at 480 kilometers per hour what color is your bugatti uh black and orange i guess but wait we just bumped this car in the past how am huh? i now making it now this car is by far the fastest normal car look at how fast it goes then we have the fastest boat ever the spirit of australia this boat can go 510 kilometers per hour it's basically a plane on water this looks like a straight up space shuttle oh Oh, look, it's taking off. Wait, it's taking off? Huh? 
It's a boat! Then the fastest helicopter ever, the Osprey. It's actually a mixture between a helicopter and a plane, and it can go 565 kilometers per hour. It looks like a helicopter, but with multiple rotors. Here it is changing from plane to helicopter. This is such an epic aircraft. The Ecotec is the fastest motorcycle ever, going 630 kilometers per hour. Just like the fastest boat, it's basically just a plane that doesn't fly. Add some yellow stripes, the engine. Now, I would be afraid of this thing falling over, because it only has two wheels. Having a flat desert in SFS to drive this would be really useful. The P-51 Mustang was the most used American fighter jet during World War II, which was faster than the German planes. It kind of looked like this, and it had weapons. Now let's attack the hot air balloon. Ah! Okay, I guess that works. No, but we need to go slow, and then shoot, shoot, shoot. Yep, it's going down. Oh no! We almost died there. A German bomber is attacking. Let's find it and shoot! Yep, this plane is awesome. Then we have the Boeing 747, Boeing's biggest plane. It can go 988 kilometers per hour, almost at the 1000 mark. Now, since this is a long distance plane, let's go to another country. Here we are in the nice country of, uh, ice. It's cold here. Then the B2 Spirit, the first plane on this list to pass 1000 kilometers per hour. However, this plane is more noticeable for its design. This has to be by far the coolest looking plane there is. But since it's a stealth plane, you won't see it coming. Getting this shape in SFS is almost impossible. But once it's flying, it looks really awesome. Activate stealth mode. Uh, wait, I think I lost the plane. The Airbus A380 is the fastest passenger plane, going 1185 kilometers per hour, meaning we're getting really close to the sound barrier. This plane looks like a Boeing 747, but with more engines. We're flying it. Look at how fast it goes. And now land it. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know I was flying Ryanair. Then back to land for the last time. We have the Thrust SSC, the fastest car ever. This car is just a straight up fighter jet on wheels. And it's the first item on this list to break the sound barrier. Now I would say you'd get a ticket if you drove this on the road. But you'll go so fast the police won't be able to catch you. This thing is just 90% engine. And it's so amazingly fast. I really can't do this on hilly terrain. Now back to the first plane ever to break the sound barrier. The Bell X1. This experimental plane could go 6. 1600 kilometers per hour. And the insane thing is that this was made in 1946, just 43 years after the first plane. You can actually see it breaking the sound barrier when I speed up. Then we have this plane that you might recognize by the downward nose, the Concorde. The only passenger jet to ever break the sound barrier, going 2180 kilometers per hour. But because it was so fast, it made a lot of noise and cost a lot of fuel. So they went back to slower planes. But imagine going on vacation in this. The F-16 is probably the most famous fighter jet jet in the world for good reason. It's relatively cheap. It costs only 60 million dollars. Nothing, right? But it is also very powerful for its low cost. This plane is just really good. However, at this speed I can't really show you its fighting capabilities because only a trained pilot could react this quickly. Then we have the MiG-25 Foxpath. This plane terrified the West because it could go 3000 kilometers per hour, which was way faster than anything the West had. For years this plane was a mystery until a defector gave a Foxpath to the US military. Which which then discovered it could only reach high speeds for a few minutes at a time. So it really wasn't that scary. Look, it ran out of fuel. That happened quite often. Then, a few years later, the roles reversed. The United States built the SR-71 Blackbird, able to go 3,500 kilometers per hour. They actually had to invent new materials to build it. These planes were so fast that if a rocket was launched to target it, it would just speed up and outrun the rocket. The Soviet Union had no way to counter these. Over a thousand missiles were fired and zero hit. However, when the Soviet Union created faster anti-air missiles, the planes were retired. Then we have the first rocket ever, the German V2 rocket. Created in 1944, this rocket could go 5700 kilometers per hour. We can do the exact same pattern like this, and then flip, this is it. It would fly to the target and then start the descent. If I got hit by this rocket, I would literally die. Then we have the last plane on this list, the North American X-15, the fastest plane ever, going 7,250 kilometers per hour. Although at this point, it's controversial if it can even be considered a plane, as it was basically just a rocket with wings. It couldn't take off on its own, it had to be dropped from an already moving bigger plane, so the Blackbird remains the fastest true plane. You can see that the game is having trouble with speeds this high. To understand how insane this is, this is traveling at over 2 kilometers per second. It just looks like a fireball. Then we have the Saturn V which took humans to the moon. It went 10,400 kilometers per hour during the launch. Then it landed on the moon. Okay, the humans survived, but now they are stranded in space. Then the ISS. I'm going to be using the ISS model I made in this video. Now it's in orbit going 28,000 kilometers per hour. It doesn't look like it's moving here, but on earth it would look like this. 
Okay, my PC does not like a space station moving this fast. The Falcon 9 is the first reusable rocket. It can go into space and then land again and be reused. It can go 33,000 kilometers per hour. Then Chandrayaan-3, which was India's first moon landing. During the trip, the rocket went 36,000 kilometers per hour. This is the shape. Now let's add... Uh, they don't have an India texture, so pretend that instead of United States, this says India. And then the Indian flag everywhere. And now we can launch it and go into space, detach, and we're at the moon. Voyager 1 is the furthest object away from the Earth, at almost 25 billion kilometers. It got there by traveling 65,000 kilometers per hour for nearly 50 years straight. Then we have the Tesla car. That's right, Elon Musk launched a Tesla into space, which is now in orbit around the sun. It travels up to 121,000 kilometers per hour, making the Tesla the fastest car in history. This was a roadster, so it doesn't have a roof, and it's red. And there's an astronaut in there. Not a real one, of course. This is what it would look like on Earth. Oh, it's in space. And since Teslas are self-driving, if it does ever land on a planet again, it will simply continue driving. Next we have an... Uh, what the hell is this? This is an Iron Man hole cover, which was shot into space by a nuclear bomb during Operation Plum Bob. It reached 201,000 kilometers per hour, meaning it's now somewhere in space, but no one has been able to find it. Then the Helios satellites, which reached a maximum speed of 252,000 kilometers per hour, but there is no way for me to show you this speed. Speed in space is relative. There's not much point in showing speeds at this point. We're going to do one more rocket, okay? The Parker Solar Probe. Truly the fastest rocket ever, going 692,000 kilometers per hour during a flyby of the sun. That is almost 200 kilometers per second. That speed is just completely unimaginable. So we need to get close to the sun. Here we are, the fastest rocket ever. Yeah, we're going past the sun. We're going faster. Oh no, no. I think my calculations might have been wrong. Well, those were the slowest to fastest vehicles. Of course, only human vehicles. Who knows how fast aliens are going in their strange rockets. I hope they don't invade us. Don't worry, I will protect you. Thank you, Elon. Bruh, bruh. Bruh. Bruh.